I picked up this brown shirt for fall. I've already worn this one. All of this is washed, so if it looks wrinkled, that's why. I got this like tie-dye one. It's like a long crop. My husband wanted me to get this one. He actually wanted me to get a black one that said good things are coming with white lettering if I'm not mistaken. The shirt was very thin though, a very thin material that I wasn't fond of. And there also wasn't one in my size, which usually I grab a medium, sometimes a large depending on the fit. Like this one, the cut of it, which is Wild Fable. And I know this is like the worst possible way to show you guys, but um, the cut was weird. So I just went with a large instead for it to be comfortable. That white one, which is actually like a cream kind of color. That gray one, this little tie-dye one, and this brown one, which is super comfortable. This is actually the t-shirt that you guys saw if you watched my um, Duncan video. So good, so comfortable really great quality like when i say great quality i just mean it's not like a super thin t-shirt but it's got some weight to it which i really like i also realized i didn't mention that we had originally gone into target because we had some spare time on our hands also because i wanted to try to put myself out there and try to do something normal because it had been a really long time and also we actually needed stuff from like I don't know some just hygiene products including like hand sanitizer and stuff like that and I figured Target would be one of the better stores to walk into and so I did and then we picked up like I said a few clothing items because you guys will see I emptied out um, some of the clothes that wasn't fitting my daughter anymore or some clothes that's like worn out but yeah I just want to put that out there I don't want to get any hate for going to a store. I don't know, but I was as safe as possible. I was really stressed walking in. My husband could see it on my face. Like, even with a mask on, he could see it in my eyes. That I was a little bit nervous, but I wasn't as nervous as I could have been in other stores that are way more packed and with a lot of heavy like foot traffic, I guess. I just wanted to put that out there. The first item I got for myself online was this cropped from Wild Fable. I will try to insert the clip. And then I got this for myself from Wild Fable. Bad idea. Um, in person, I did get a Wild Fable shirt. It was kind of like a boxy crop and it looked kind of small, so I went with a large. I got this one medium online. Whoa, that's really red. We need to fix that somehow. <laughs> this is burgundy. Doesn't look, this looks really red. I actually kind of like that red. <laughs> it's one of my favorite reds, but no, this is burgundy and I look really 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 pale and I have like the slightest natural light coming in I don't even have like I'm literally like this much light coming in but anyway so yeah as a medium I don't know if I've mentioned this before but I am a medium and my breasts are a large so what happens is if I get a large in some items I'm swimming in the shirt so sometimes I just size down to a medium and I just deal with my breasts being very tight but like can we just I mean we'll see how this looks but again tight around the chest I could have sized up can you guys see that yeah I think I should have sized up to a large but because my pants are loose um, I like to wear mom jeans or straight leg jeans I do wear skinnies from time to time but then I like to wear something a oversized the top I was about to say a jumper a nice sweater over the top or something so with this one I'd probably be wearing looser fitting bottoms I do kind of wish I would have gotten a large because in person I did see a boxy crop and I got a large because it seems small but who knows this might fit really well and I might actually like it anywho I borrow my husband's quarter zip a lot that I thrifted for him last fall it was maybe four to six dollars it's Van Hoosen and we both love it and he also has a thicker one for like the really really cold days and it's St. John's Bay I think that's what it's called but either way we both love the black Van Hoosen one the other one's forest green but it's really like thick and I get hot really quickly holding this one up though for myself it's it's soft super soft and I know that like all the girls probably love the comfort of this but I 
I prefer quality and even though his is not as soft I can feel like the thickness of the material and it actually keeps me warm but yeah this is soft and cozy I feel like this may pill very easily after like I don't know five wears or it was $22 again if it weren't because of the pandemic I'd probably be out there thrifting a quarter zip for myself for under five or six dollars but yeah overpriced I got it in the large it is a cropped I'm thinking maybe I could have gone extra large but we'll see how it fits there may be a try on portion along with that burgundy crop I got a black one I think I also got a blue one by the way those are also five dollars it's pretty blue it's coming up very blue on camera it's um like a dull periwinkle type blue if that helps you with the description but it kind of cinches in at the waist i feel like a large would have been perfect i didn't think i feel the thing is with wild fable I'm so all over the place again the thing is with wild fable i feel like their pants are spot on in size and fit me perfectly however the tops i heard somebody online say that they thought it was like the youth line and now seeing it jeans wise it fits my body perfectly as a woman but tops i feel like is directed toward the youth or maybe just not you know big chested women i don't know next thing i got were these high-rise mom jeans in the, like this acid wash which i really like i like wearing darker jeans for the colder weather but um that little cameo right there <laughs> um but yeah, they've just got some distressing on the pocket. Very minimal. No, mm, also very minimal on the bottom. Already has one of my hairs on it because curly hair girl life. A little bit of distressing on the pocket. That's like a terrible way to show you. Hold on. Let me see if you guys can see. And a full on ripped knee on them both sides dying and i thought it was something different because i do own actual vintage denim with no rips in it um a mid to high rise and an actual really high waisted pair so i'm really happy with those and i thought let me get a light wash pair that has some rips because like i said i get really hot if i'm going to be wearing a fall type sweater or something really thick up top like this is like a little sweater vest <laughs> but guys i'm wearing it with high-waisted shorts like I don't know three inch shorts so I mean there's a balance you know I'm keeping myself warm on top but I'm also keeping very cool on the bottom so I figured I could do the same thing with this once it gets a little chillier I can have holy pants I got these in a size 8 by the way I'm sorry if you guys can hear the AC in the back these fit like a dream these are the ones from Target um wild fable specifically and they're a size eight and they just fit absolutely amazingly like i think these are so perfect they fit the hips they fit the butt they fit the hips they fit the thighs we're good oh and also i do have like some old h&m pants from two years ago and once i lost like my I don't know if I'm swollen, swollen or it was water weight, but after my second, um, maybe like four months after I got them, three months after she was born, I think, and then two months later they didn't fit anymore. They're size 10, so they were fitting around my waist, I think, but they were really loose everywhere else or just loose all over because I remember I had them belted. Either way, they're size 10, and thanks to the quarantine, they're actually looking nice. So, um, I do fit my eight pretty comfortably, depends on what, um, which jean I'm wearing, but I do fit them pretty comfortably. And, um, those size 10s, I don't know, I'll come, I feel like I'm in between sizes, so I think I can actually wear them. It's a light blue pair, if I'm not mistaken, and then a black pair, straight light. So I'm really happy for that because the black pair I have right now is skinny. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I got sidetracked, but for some reason, saying the size of these, which is a size 8, reminded me that I have those uh, straight light black ones, and I'm really excited to maybe wear those this fall or winter. Oof, maybe I wear them in the winter. I got this brown top, and it's a medium, and it's from a new day. Oh. But can we just acknowledge how this is like a real medium? Like, this is Mom. an actual medium. It's not tight. Like, this oh. looks like it's going to fit. Okay, I'll fix it in a moment. It looks like it's going to fit perfectly. I actually wish that it had a longer sleeve. This is like an actual medium compared to the Wild Fable medium. Like this will stretch nicely and still hug me nicely without like completely exposing absolutely everything on me. 
so like I said, if you go wild fable and you have a big chest, I say size up one. You buy from New Day, a new day. I say stick to your regular size. I don't know if I mentioned the denim was $22. I feel like I did or I may have. And then this a new day one is only $8. I do have a pair of overalls from Wild Fable from last year that are a size 8. They do fit. Do they fit well? They fit all right. Like around my hips, I did gain, like I said, two inches on my arms. You know three months into quarantine two inches on my thighs and my hip area so um i gave myself like a like i said i'm in between sizes so the eight it fits everywhere except my hips like if i wear anything too thick underneath the buttons start to pull just a little bit not a lot like i can still get away with wearing them but i figured just in case i do want to wear jumper again i watch somebody online who says jumper all the time and it's stuck already in my mind if i do decide to wear a nice thick sweater underneath i want a little bit of room so i think those are if they're not wild fable they are universal thread i might take the opportunity to go check and then let you know but um i got these from universal thread and i went with a size 10 these are darker than the ones i have these are like a medium wash the other ones are a light wash they're not acid wash like these but they are light and these are a dark pair. So I figured also if, um, you know, like I said, the buttons aren't pulling too much on that one. If I'm in the mood to just, you know, have something a little more snug and wear something lightweight underneath, I can go with the eight. Or if I have something chunkier, I can just go with the size 10. Wow. This is what they look like. This is the back, just your typical overalls. I believe there is any distressing. They do have a bit of a frayed bottom. Like I said, if I decide to do a try on, you guys will see it in the video. These were pricey though. I think the ones I got last year, I don't know if they were $35 or $25. They may have been 35, but these were 35. So 24, sorry, $34.99 for these. The package that took forever. Here. Well, I opened the box and this, this is what came out. These had fallen right out. These look lighter online, I guess because of the natural lighting, and they're also coming up lighter on the camera. They're actually a pretty camel. I thought they were gonna be He's lighter, and I'm, too. I'm more satisfied with this because I feel like it won't get as dirty. A pretty camel too. This was stuck Mom. near me. Okay, one moment please. They were stuck about 40 minutes, maybe closer. Um. 40 minutes away from me. I got my actual size, seven and a half. They fit perfectly, so true to size. So what happened was they were near me for like five days. The only option it gives you to fix online is that they arrived late, but they hadn't arrived at all. So I just marked it as a missing item because I didn't know if I was gonna get my item after it had been there for like five days already. Like I kept screenshotting it, I was in shock. They replaced it. They were supposed to be here like last Wednesday or Thursday and they hadn't arrived. They didn't get here till Tuesday. So on Sunday or Monday night, I meant I sent in that I was missing an item and it's Thursday and I just got my replacement pair. So this only took four days while this one took like the original shipping time plus an additional like five days. What shocked me the most though was that it was at the same location. I would have understood if it was like, oh, you know, it's coming from this state and now it's in this city of this state. And you know, like if it was progressing, but it was stuck in the same spot. So I figured maybe, and I, out of all the shipping, whatever you want to call them, FedEx is just like, <laughs> but I figured it would just be lost forever. So I did order a replacement pair because they hadn't arrived and I didn't want to mark it as arrived late, especially because there was no Mom, update. It was just same location, same location, Mom. so I got a second pair, which is fantastic, especially because they fit so well. I didn't mention this, but these were $24.99. This isn't part of this video. I did order something off of Poshmark. It's very nicely packaged in this tissue paper and it's just, I think I paid eight dollars for it. It's a Liz Claiborne sweater for the fall. Oh, it's such good quality. By the way, 
Any packages that I've had have been sitting for under a week or over a week. Same medium. It's this like nice ribbed gray. It's so thick. It feels great. Like if I don't want to dress up, just throw this on, throw a nice pair of jeans, and it'll be fantastic. It's not cropped, but it feels like it's a great length and like it's not too long. So yeah, I feel like that was a good buy. Shipping always kills, but um, if you're shopping from the same store, that's great. But the shipping on this one was really good. I think um, I only paid $4.99 for shipping versus the usual $7.11, $7.11 off Poshmark. That was a win. I really like that. Collected all these and yourself. I'll hold it for you. So this was in it that I collected. I put it in all by myself because mommy was working and now it was Toy Story. And I opened it and I guess the news to mommy. Do you want to say bye? Um, or see you next time? No, not yet. <laughs> see you next time.